So Bobby Wine has been freed on bail, but he still faces these charges. What happens from here? Well, what happens now uh, is that uh, Bobby Wine uh, is temporarily free. Uh, court has granted him bail, and that means he'll be, uh, he'll be able to appear in court. Uh, the, next, uh, the next appearance will be on the 30th of August. Uh, that's when uh, he'll be, uh, him and uh, the 33 others will be uh, able to appear in court. But well, he appeared in court today while he was a bit frail. So it's unlikely that Bobby Wine will be able to appear in court the next, uh, for the next sitting, because he has to go for medical checkup. He was. Uh, he came to court when he was on clutches. Uh, many others were on clutches, and he visibly looked uh, very sick. And when he left court, he was actually put uh, into an ambulance. So the high chances that uh, he may not be coming to court on the next sitting, but he's supposed to, uh, probably his sureties are supposed to appear in court for the next sitting. We can see these images of him in court. He does look very frail, and we, we can see him there on crutches. Do we know? why he's in that form do we know what happened to him uh, and also have we had any response from his supporters because as we mentioned there have been protests over his detention well bobby when when bobby wine was uh, arrested that's about uh, two weeks ago um, uh, we understand, and this is uh, coming from his wife, that he was uh, violated, that he was beaten uh, by what we, we hear, uh, or allegedly by the uh, president's security team. Uh, these are the elite special forces group that guard the president. And we understand he was beaten to pulp. And uh, that is the reason why he actually did not appear in court the first time when all the other people did appear in court. And this is, of course, this is Bobby Wine and uh, another person, this is another member of parliament who is also right now in, in, in a very bad state in hospital. So uh, the reason, of course, he didn't appear in court was because he was with the military. And we understand he was being treated uh, so that he could appear looking good in court. But uh, Unfortunately, it's obvious that he, he looks, uh, he, he really looks in pain. He looks like he was uh, uh, beaten up. But of course, uh, his release, everyone has been calling for his release across the world. Humanitarian organizations in Uganda, we have celebrations now in Kampala and many other districts across the country where people are so excited that Bobby Wine is finally out, that government has finally uh, given up uh, on him in terms of heeding to pressures uh, and of course they have been calling out and calling all these treason charges against him as trumped up charges but for now we are, well he's it, it's a start of a long process a start of a long court process and we hope uh, uh, at least he's out and he'll be able to get uh, medical attention we'll have to wait and see what happens to those charges thank you so much for that that's journalist michael balake live from kampala